Hi guys, so this is a video that's a, a preview of some of the features in Live 9 that we particularly like. It's uh, not a tutorial, so a change from the norm, and this is using the Live 9 beta version. So I've got to point out there could be some changes between the features that you're seeing in this video and what actually comes out in the official release of Live 9. So let's just play the loop that I've created for this video. And what I'm going to focus on is this track. So I've got a drum rack here and on each of the pads I've loaded up one of the new drum synths. Now these come as part of the Max for Live that's bundled with the Live 9 Suite version. Okay, so that's the version that you would automatically get these bundled in. And I think they're absolutely superb little synths, whether it's just for making your drum sounds or special effects or particularly for layering them up as well with samples if you've got a particular drum hit you feel needs a little bit of something extra putting these in a rack with it and tweaking it you can really get a, a huge range of sounds they're brilliant for layering so let's have a listen to the different hits this one is a kick drum it's actually silent it's being used as a side chain in this loop so quite a punchy kick that i've put in to trigger the side chain you can get a huge array of different sounds out of this of, of different kick sounds and I've used exactly the same synth on the next pad, this time to create the bass hit. And you can see that this has also got the new EQ8, so you can see the spectrum working on that, which is particularly helpful. Just bringing out some of the upper harmonics. I've also got the gate. If I just turn the new gate off for a second, and in fact, I'm going to run the loop so you can hear this. You can hear the way that the white noise is pumping with uh, the side chain that I've got on here. So we've got a layer of noise on this bass, which is working really well. Now I've actually put the gate on and I'm chopping that off in this case, just because the tail of the, um, of the bass was interfering a little bit with my kick. The gate is very, very easy to set up. It's really, really cool. You can obviously see you've got a, a, a waveform display now, so it's super easy to see what you're doing. We've also got Live 9's compressor in here. This isn't actually running the side chain as much as it could do. What I've got this doing at the moment is adding a little bit of punch. And again, it comes out with a, a waveform display so you can easily see how you're setting it. And the thing that's doing the side chain is actually the compressor from Live 8. So because I own Live 8, I've copied a preset across into my Live 9 library. And that allows me to use this compressor as well. So get the best of both worlds because we've got some algorithms in here that aren't in Live 9 and I particularly wanted one of those for side chaining. So if you've had Live 8 previously you've just got a massive array of possibilities on the compression front and to top that off there's then the glue compressor that's sitting at the end of all of this which is set up obviously just to tie the sounds together a little bit. literally only just gently pulling the sounds together there. So on to some of the other sounds quickly. We've got a tom sound, which is a bit more of an effect. Got quite a heavy pitch bend on that. We've obviously got the simple delay on there. But additionally, we've got EQ8 again using one of the new sharp low cut filters. And that's just taking out obviously the low end. So it's avoiding hitting the clashing with the deep bass and the kick again and it's a really really sharp cut and a really great addition to the EQ8 Then we've got two different hats running from the same synth so a much more closed almost ticking hat and then a more open sounding hat for the offbeat the clap is one of my favorites so I've gone for a really white noise kind of techno vibe with that You've actually got a couple of synths in here. You've got this brush, which gives you that really drawn out white noise type sound. But also if I turn the clap up, it's not actually mixed in at the moment. You've got the, the sharper, more typical clap sound. This one is just being used for FX. Again, just to demonstrate how you can take one of the drum synths and, and get it to do something a bit crazy. The 
saturator is actually not doing a great deal on this. So I just wanted to turn that off so you can hear the tone that you're able to get out of this synth. And again, it's just going through a ping pong. And this was going to be some percussion, but it's turned out to be more of an effects type sound as well. And these are all the drum synths. And then obviously onto that hat again. So this is the loop in full. And I'm really looking forward to getting to grips with these a lot more because I'm only just scratching the surface on these synths and I can see that they're going to be uh, an integral part in uh, my productions going forward. I think they're really, really cool. So that was a quick preview of a few of the areas in Live. Once again, it is the beta version that we're using of Live 9 here. So something could change between now and the release. And all of the drum synths, they are available with a Max for Live that comes bundled with Live 9 Suite. The standard Live 9 will have all of the different compressors you saw, with the exception of the Live 8 one, if you didn't own that previously. So if you've got any questions at all, please do let me know. And as always, your comments are very welcome. Take care.